have you guys noticed that whenever we zoom or scale a picture for example if we zoom the thing or dilate the thing actually it happens in a same proportion it doesn't happen like haphazardly or randomly for example let's take a right angle triangle if we enlarge the right angle triangle its sides get increased in a same ratio it's same thing when it dilated the lengths of the sides decrease in the same ratio so this property in geometry known as homothety let's get into a problem from australian math competition where we can discuss and understand how to deal with homothety in the problems so here is a problem where it is given this triangle let's name the triangle triangle a b c the triangle abc is a right angle triangle and it's a 3 4 5 right right angle triangle so one of the most known right angle triangles and these green right angle triangles are drawn within it for infinite number of times that was given now the question is what is the area of the shaded region the green region let's try to solve it but how can we solve it to solve these kind of questions where we don't know what can what can be done let's first gather those information that we can understand that we can get directly for example what is the area of the abc it should be half times this which is 6 okay we can know this one what's next what can we do further so as i mentioned about homothety if you can look into the picture carefully you can understand it is a case of homothety if you go to the very smaller very close to see you can obtain a very smaller triangle eventually it is getting larger 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 and get into the entire triangle abc now let's solve for it a portion what i'm moving towards a portion of it because for example let's take this let's name them abc uh this is d this is e f g h i and that's enough because as this is the case of homothety if we can prove something for for example let's say quadrilateral a b a b if we can prove something upon this we can understand one thing that a b d e or a b e d sorry a b e d is the zoomed or the scaled version of d e g f so we can use the ratio there so let's first understand and get something regarding a b e d okay so let's just assume this angle to be alpha then this angle to be 90 minus alpha what about this then this has to be alpha as well this has to be 90 minus alpha that indicates a few thing triangle ab c triangle a d b and triangle B, A, D. All of them are similar. You can prove it very easily uh, by just as you uh, looking into one of the angles is right angle and another angle is common or alpha. So that's enough to call them similar. So for the similar triangles, the main output we can get 
the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. So let's take this one and this one. So if we take these two triangles and use that property of similar triangles, the ratio of the corresponding sides will be equal. So on that, let's say, let's first take the BED triangle, BE, or let's take D, DE, uh, DE is the side opposite to alpha, so in this case, it will be BC would be equal to, let's take the hypotenuse, the BD by AC. Let's take these two. From here, we can have, what is BC? BC is 4. AC is 5. So, I guess now you can understand why I intentionally took these two triangles because I didn't know much about the measurements of triangle BED. Those are unknown things in this picture. But I know about ABC. So I intentionally took these relations and on the basis of that, I get an idea about BE upon BD. So DE upon BD is 4 upon 5. Okay. Something we get. Now, we also have triangle ADB is similar to triangle BED. And we already have this relation. This leads me to get something regarding their area. There is a theorem that states if two triangles are similar, then ratio of their areas is actually the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. That leads me to, okay, let me write it down. For example, let's say there is a triangle triangle 1, I am naming it, and there is another triangle, triangle 2, and let's call their corresponding cell, let's say B1 and B2. So, if 1 is similar to 2, then the area of 1 to area of 2 would be B1 squared by B2 squared or in simple version B1 upon B2 its square. Good. So we can use this here. So that leads me to area of A D B would be okay. I am finding ADB in terms of BED. So that would be 5 upon 4 times area of BED. So that is 25 upon 16 times area of BED. This is one of the very famous results for two similar triangles. And we are getting something regarding the area. So we are progressing actually throughout the problem. Now, if you look carefully to the quadrilateral A, B, E, D, from which we started, you can now understand as this is a Trapezium. Why? Because these two are the perpendiculars on the same side. So this is a trapezium. Now, area of A, D, E, D. It's 
area of A D D plus area of B D. Simple. Now if we know this is twenty fifth upon sixteen of B D. Plus B D. You know if I have it. You could. So it becomes forty one upon sixteen B D. That let me conclude B E D is. Sixteen upon forty-one part of the trapezium A B E D. Let's look into the picture. It will help you to understand that. So now look into that picture. So this part is one six upon four one part of the entire this. quadrilateral well enough now we will use the homothety here using homothety we can very easily understand all these things are just the it just get enlarged to the next one so let's assume the first the largest Trapezium, let's say A one, second one is A two, A three, and so on. So I can derive from here that the some of the areas of the trapeziums would be A one plus A two plus A three, and so on, which is actually six, which is the area of the triangle which we found at the very first now i want to know the area of the green portion of this picture and in every trapezium it is the 16 upon 41th part of the trapezium so i am eager to find that 16 upon 41th part of this which is same here so now you find it out the exact number what is the fraction or what is the area of this particular shaded region uh, we are at the very end of it so let me know in the comments what answer you are getting so i hope you enjoyed the solution here because in this case we used a lot of the geometrical results for example the similar triangles the right angle triangles the homothety most important importantly the result one of the crucial results using uh, from the similar triangles which is this you should remember this one it's one of the most efficient results there are many other ways to solve this question if you can solve it in a different way let me know in the comments or you guys can directly send us in our whatsapp numbers so i will be very eager to know your way of solution let me know in the comments if you can have more insights or if you are facing difficulty to understand something some concepts that, that i discussed in the video see you in the next video and continue to do good mathematics